Let us remember that we're always in God's presence. We begin our prayer in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. A reading from the Gospel according to Matthew. Jacob was the father of Joseph, the husband of Mary. Of her was born Jesus, who was called the Christ. Now this is how the birth of Jesus Christ came about. When his mother Mary was betrothed to Joseph, but before they lived together, she was found with child through the Holy Spirit. Joseph, her husband, since he was a righteous man, yet unwilling to expose her to shame, decided to divorce her quietly. Such was his intention when, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary, your wife, into your home. For it is through the Holy Spirit that this child has been conceived in her. She will bear a son, and you are to name him Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. When Joseph awoke, he did as the angel of the Lord had commanded him, and took his wife into his home. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that by St. Joseph's intercession, your church may constantly watch over the unfolding of the mysteries of human salvation, whose beginnings you entrusted to his faithful care. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Mary, help of Christians, pray for us. St. John Bosco, pray for us. St. Joseph, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. And wait for a moment as we prepare for the pledge. And together we say, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and ju justice for all. Good morning. Today is Thursday, March the 19th. It is day six in the schedule. If your name is Giuseppe, Jose, Joseph, Joseph, Yosef, Joey, Joe, happy feast day. Today is the feast of St. Joseph, the patron of the Universal Church, and more important, the foster father of Jesus. St. Joseph, as we read the few points about him in the Gospels, had a difficult vocation, some of which we heard in the Gospel reading. He was the husband of Mary, but the foster father of Jesus. He didn't understand at first how Mary came to be with child. So this is not his son, but his foster son. And as he was puzzled as how to deal with Mary, he was told the story and to take her into his home, which he did. And we know as we read the rest of the Christmas story that he had to take Mary, who was expecting Jesus, on the trip from Nazareth to Bethlehem for the census. This was a journey of about 90 miles, not on an interstate, but on rocky and potholed roads on a donkey. It took a long time. We know how Jesus was born not in an inn or in a convenient place, but behind an inn in a stable in a manger. We know how Joseph had to take Mary and the child Jesus and flee to Egypt to escape King Herod, who wanted to kill Jesus and killed all the boy children under two years of age in Bethlehem because he was insanely jealous. Joseph had to take Mary and Jesus back to Nazareth when Herod had died. It was not an easy life for Joseph, but he carried it out because this was his mission 
This was his vocation. But another important part about St. Joseph is that today at Salesian High School, he, this is the patronal feast of Salesian High School. When the Salesians first came to New Rochelle in 1919, when there was nothing on this campus except the house on the top of the hill, the Salesians came and opened a seminary called St. Joseph's House of Studies for young men who were interested in becoming Salesian priests and brothers. This house, this seminary, was dedicated to St. Joseph. In the following year, we began to build the school building in which most of us spend a good part of our day. A building which actually was built in four different parts. And the first part of the building was where the offices are and where classrooms 301, 302, and 303 are and the bio and, and chemistry labs above. That was the original building. And if you look underneath the windows of my office outside, you will see that the cornerstone of that building was dedicated on October the 3rd, 1920, almost 100 years ago. When the building was built, the Salesians decided to accept students who were not seminarians, and the name of the school became the Salesian Institute. But the seminary part was still called St. Joseph's House of Studies, and St. Joseph continued to be the patron of this community. And so we pray through the intercession of St. Joseph on this day. We ask for the courage that St. Joseph had to carry out the vocation in our own lives, whether in good times or in difficult times, whether in regular occurrences or special occurrences like we're in right now. St. Joseph, give us the courage to know God's will and to carry it out today. Thanks and have a good day.